All right, all right, all right. Kapatu, very important. Do you like my Kath Kidston mug? Always stay hydrated, kids. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Iza and I make videos on lifestyle, beauty, food and fun. Today I'm going to talk you through the products and items that I have been loving recently. Before I get started, please give my video a thumbs up after you've watched it, if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Do make sure to turn on your notifications on my channel so you don't miss any videos. I post videos every weekend. That's why I don't have a life. Or friends. That was for dramatic effect. I have plenty of friends, so yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. Soap and Glory hand food. I've been obsessed with Soap and Glory's hand food for a few years now. I very recently discovered that Soap and Glory released a hand food cream scented with the scent from the Sugar Crush range, a sweet lime vanilla scent. It smells so good. This smells like the Coca-Cola sweets that you used to eat as kids, you know the really small tangy ones? It contains shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow. I find this really moisturising, really soothing on my hands and the smell just makes it such a treat. So highly recommend this hand cream. Next, one conditioner that I am obsessed with is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Repairing Conditioner. My hair has recently become quite dry because I have a bit of a balayage going on. This conditioner makes my hair so silky and smooth and shiny. The ingredients are coconut oil, manoi oil, argan oil and sea kelp, which are all very nourishing, hydrating ingredients. Also, it smells incredible like raw coconut oil, which is the most appetizing smell. <laughs> Next, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte by Bath & Body Works. It is a general favourite. I discovered this a few months ago and this is part of their autumnal range but I think it's really versatile and you can actually use it throughout the year. I've got the body lotion here and the body scrub. The scent consists of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, white ginger and praline musk. To me this is a sort of caramelly perfume with notes of coffee and burning marshmallow. <laughs> in a really good way though. It smells delicious, very hydrating, and it makes your skin smell amazing. The body scrub, which I'm almost out of, is a beautiful consistency in the shower. Not too harsh, it's really, really gentle. It leathers up beautifully, just beautiful products in general. I'm a bit obsessed with Bath & Body Works. I've got about 20 Bath & Body Works candles and not just the mini versions, I've got the three wick versions. Baby man is not happy at the lack of space. <laughs> I have been loving the White Company White Lavender Pillow Mist. This is something that you just spray on your pillow before going to bed. It infuses it with this gorgeous, relaxing, lavender smell that just sends you off to sleep. It's not a drug. But yeah, ooh! This has notes of lavender neroli, that sounds like a type of pasta, and lemon. I just love getting into my pyjamas, cozying up under the duvet and spraying this on my pillow. Next, my favourite thing in life, food. The items that I'm about to show you are not nutritious, they are not good for you, and you shouldn't ever eat them. Okay, scrap the last part. Sweets! Candy kittens. These sweets are really quite delicious. I've tried the wild strawberry flavour, which is basically strawberries and cream, and this one, which is sour watermelon. I think I've bought about five packets so far. Three of them have gone. This is terrible. Next food item. I was going to show you a full packet of these, but I ate them before filming this video. M&S milk chocolate covered pretzels and popping candy popcorn. These are so good. And then the M&S milk chocolate cookie dough bites. As you can tell, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. Don't follow my example. Stay away from sugar. Stay away from me. Don't stay away from me. I'm quite nice. Right, calendar. So this calendar, I feel, is really elegant and sophisticated and chic and adds a touch of je ne sais quoi to any office. The Grumpy Cat 2017 calendar. It's full of really inspiring and motivational quotes for each month of the year, so I'll show you a couple. Every silver lining has a cloud. When all else fails, good. Follow your nightmares. This calendar makes me so happy. 
mini paper pads by Lollipop Designs. These are magnetized so you can put them on your fridge. This one is a sort of greyish, greenish hue and then this one is a navy blue colour with a dove, pigeon, dove with stars. I just think they're quite cute, really useful for making lists, taking down notes, yeah, good reads. I like to read a lot of books but recently I have gotten into graphic novels. I found a book which I read in one sitting and I honestly could not put it down. Rinse, Spin, Repeat by Edith Fasnage. This book is a memoir of Edith's experience of the 2004 tsunami. Very powerful in its simplicity. If you haven't read this book, highly recommend it. It's very, very good. Music. So one band I stumbled upon a few weeks ago that I am obsessed with at the moment, The Midnight. Uh, the Midnight are from Los Angeles and their sound is very much 80s synth pop inspired. They've actually given me permission to use their music in my video, so you should be hearing The Midnight right now. Their latest album is Endless Summer, which you can listen to on Spotify and on Bandcamp. I'll put their details in the description down below, check them out, they are amazing. That's it for my February favourites. What are your February favourites? Have you tried any of these items or products? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you soon! Bye! Laughter is the worst medicine. Longest journey starts with a single step. Best not take any. Glad you're not here.